All right, guys, so the 27 million download campaign is live over on the JP version of the game. We kind of just got like randomly surprised by this, but this has to be one of the best, if not the best download campaigns we've ever gotten. I mean, this one is a really, really nice one. It's definitely up there because you just get a lot of Saint Quartz. They put like just, again, nice stuff in the Da Vinci shop. And then the missions that they introduce into the game are just kind of nice ones that everybody should already have done. You know, if you've been playing for like any amount of time, you should already have these skill ones completed, right? If you've got like any couple of supports, you should have 10, 10, 10, all those guys. But we'll get into that in today's video. You know, leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. You know, daily FGO content, intro aside, let's just start getting into this. So the first main like major thing that they're doing is, yeah, if you just log in, for like seven days, you're gonna get that 30 Saint Quartz. Like you're not getting like the usual like seven or like five or however much they give. They're just giving out a free multi, which I think is particularly, I don't know, I, I know I say insane a lot, but I think it's crazy because keep in mind that Joan, like a new like premium servant is gonna be coming out in a couple of days and right before she's coming out, they're like, no, here, take a free multi. And I don't know like i'm a bit curious on like what the intentions are like i'm not saying that like they're doing it maliciously be like here take the same quotes or anything but i wonder if they're like maybe doing this as like an apology right is it just like they feel really bad about the lost belt 7.2 delay which to be honest i don't really think was that big of a deal at all because it was delayed for like what three hours if it was delayed for any like substantial amount of time like a week two weeks a month even I could understand them feeling like really bad for it, but I was like, dog, it was like three hours. Like the most, like it was a minor inconvenience, right? Like I think my video for uh, Kuku Khan went up like, I don't know, 30 minutes late that day. Like usually they go up at like 10 and it went up at like 1030. So I was like, dog, it really was not a big deal at all. But what I think is maybe like Lesengel is trying to move forward and have a better relationship with their player base, right? Like they're trying to be a bit more generous. And this is something I would actually kind of want to see the data on because I've played JP uh, before Lesengel kind of moved in and like bought uh, DW and like, you know, are now like the owners for FGO. I wonder if since they've taken over, have they been giving out more Sang Quartz than DW was when they were running the game? Because it feels like they have. Like, again, I don't have any like objective data, like recording all the Sang Quartz that uh, Lesengel has given versus how much DW is giving like on average. But it does feel like I'm able to kind of get like a substantial amount of Saint Quartz quicker now that Lesengel has taken over. Again, just kind of a feeling and I wonder if they're kind of moving towards that where they want to be a bit more generous to the player base. Because the reality is, even though it's really nutty that they're giving out like just a free multi, well technically two free multis when we get to the missions. But they're giving out, at least for just anybody, right? That's, that's cleared for Yuki. <laughs> They're going to give them a free multi um the reality of the situation is a lot of people are going to get like a dead multi or like some random four star some people will pull like a reshkigal who's on rate up right now some people will pull joan off of this like free multi but the reality is fgo's rates well i mean we all know the gotcha is very unforgiving so maybe they feel more comfortable giving out like a multi summon right being like oh yeah we can give that out because it'll make the player base happy, which I'm really happy that we're getting 30 Sang Quartz. That's really nice, but it's not really going to hurt like their bottom line or anything, right? Because at the end of the day, they got to keep the lights on. They got to, you know, keep the, they got to keep the roof over their heads, right? So they, they still got to eat over there, right? <laughs> so I understand that just like, maybe like, oh yeah, we can afford to give out like 30 Sang Quartz, right? Because a lot of other gacha games are being a little more generous as well. Like you guys know that I also play like Dokkan, right? And they give out like a pretty decent amount of stones, although... I guess that's a different discussion for a different day because theirs is more like if you actually play, you can get a decent amount of stones. If you don't play, you just log in. You don't really get a whole lot. But regardless, I think it's really nice. I think it's nice that maybe this is showing that Lesengel is moving towards being like a bit more generous. I hope this is not a thing where they're like, oh, we feel really bad that we delayed uh, 7.2 by three hours here. Take 30 Sang Quartz. I hope this is actually just like, no, like moving forward, we're going to give out like a bit more Sang Quartz, like more than usual, because we kind of understand that our gotcha is a little unforgiving, right? Like the sub 1% rates is a bit brutal. I'm sure as anybody has known that has gone for like any rate of serving, right? Like that's, 
it's brutal, right? The other login down here is also pretty nice. I like that, again, they're still giving out like the rare prisms. I think those are like really, really nice to kind of help people out that maybe aren't as summon heavy right on their account. They're not uh, as much of a whale as some other people and they can't just burn a bunch of gold servants. It kind of helps them gain access to like older CEs or if you haven't, like, like me on my JP, I wasn't around when uh, the BB event was on JP or even when the Seraph Reef run was there. So, you know, I need those to get extra NP copies. That's very, very nice. And then the lore is really nice because it ties into the new missions. Basically, level up your skills, which you should be doing. You should at least be leveling up your support skills. If you do that, you're going to get about 30 Sand Quartz. At least I got 30 Sand Quartz for doing this. And I've got like a couple of units just completely done. So all you got to do is level up six skills basically to 10 and you should be absolutely fine. So that's a, what, like two units maxed out? It should not be all that hard, especially even if you're a new player, because if you think about it, you're going to like 10, 10, 10 your waiver, and then you're going to 10, 10, 10, probably mash because she's pretty easy to get done, pretty cheap. The materials aren't super, super bad. So this should also be really nice. Again, very nice missions. It does make me a little curious about what they're going to do for the anniversary missions, because if you're a newer player and you don't know, usually every anniversary, the way that they give us Saint Quartz is a bit different from other gacha games. Like... Some other gacha games will be like, oh, here's anniversary, bam, just take some free, uh, you know, dragon stones or orbs or diamonds or gems or whatever it is in whatever gacha game, right? But FGO, what they usually do is they usually introduce some new mechanic to get Saint Quartz. And then if you've already done that, you'll get like the backlog of all the Saint Quartz you should have had. Like, so for instance, like one of them was like hey for every like you know arrow that you've completed on a mission you know how they have like the different arrows before you complete it for each one of those that you've done you'll get like a saint quartz fragment right and so it makes it for new players that can just do that and they can get those saint quartz fragments but if you've already beaten all those missions they give you like all the ones that you should have this is what i thought they were going to do for anniversary i thought there was going to be like something for skills but i guess maybe they thought like oh like for the amount of 10 10 10 skills you've done like maybe one saint quartz really isn't going to be enough and especially because uh lures aren't just something you can go farm right like for instance uh when they did the one for leveling up servants like getting to your max ascension you get three saint quartz at the very least like you can farm exp you can farm mats from free quest right you can farm like the statues and everything so technically you can get like every unit done like by yourself it might take you a long time you know especially if like the mats are really hard to get and you don't have any pure prisms but you can still do it so maybe that's why they didn't want to do skills for like anniversary because you can't you know just go out and farm some lures i wish we could but you can't so it makes me curious what they're going to do for uh anniversary because i thought it was going to be something skill related because you know they gave us the ascension one so i was like okay so next they'll probably do like skills but I don't know. Um, I'm really curious to see what they're going to do. I guess they still could do it. But again, they would have to make lures like probably more accessible if they wanted to do like, oh, make sure all your guys are 10, 10, 10 and whatnot. So I don't know. Um, yeah, still regardless, very good. Basically, like if you've just been playing JP for like a decent amount, like log in and you've done your skills, you can just get 60 Saint Quartz right now. Absolute insanity. Really, really good. Um, I also love this. They brought this back. So like, you know, uh, if you need some like extra QP, you need some extra EXP cards, you need some extra like statues, monuments, stuff along those lines. It's going to be pretty easy for you to go ahead and get that. And then let's kind of move. Okay. I'm not, I'm not going to skip over the Da Vinci thing, but I do want to actually talk about this because that like Ereshkigal, I was waiting for like where she was on JP because they gave her a new costume and they didn't put her out on a radar. But I was like, do they not know how popular Ereshkigal is? Like, and they're just not going to take this opportunity to just throw her out there. Like, do they not understand this? Like you give her a new costume, you make her available. People are going to summon for that, right? Like I probably would have summoned for it as soon as she dropped. Now, I don't know. Maybe I'll throw a couple of tickets at it, but I might end up because I'm trying to hold out and see how good Joan is, but I might get baited. Technically, I could wait, though, because Joan comes out on the 17th. So maybe I could summon for a Reshka goal later after seeing what Joan's details are and if she's like really insane or whatnot. But it's just really funny to me because it's like, you know, uh, Mordred gets a new uh, costume and then she comes out uh, with the Apocrypha event, right? Like she's on raid up. Kentucky's going to get a new costume. Boom. We put him on raid up like a week before it drops. So. I guess the rescue goes like she has a costume and then a week later she comes out. So I guess they did go ahead and do it, but I don't know. <laughs> like, I was just like, bro, where is she? And they were like, oh no, we were just going to throw her out like a week after the event kind of finished. So I was like, okay, sure, dude, whatever. Like, <laughs> I guess if you want the, um, E Reshkigal, the Tana Reshkigal costume, you can go do that. Now you can go ahead and try to summon for her, but 
yeah, to kind of wrap up here, um, yeah, we have this coming back uh, to the Da Vinci shop if you want to go ahead and grab it with the uh, rare mana prisms. It's not like bad. I just think it's like you need to prioritize getting like the bond things, uh, the other Da Vinci um, QPCEs. I think those are a bit more impactful. This is kind of like, yeah, if you've got like an extra CE slot and you want to get that little bit of extra QP, you could slap this in there because I don't really think anybody really cares about Master EXP. It's more like a accomplishment thing, I would say, like getting to max rank because after a certain point, you really don't get a whole lot back for it. And it's just kind of like, like for me personally, I'm like, yeah, I'll eventually reach max rank eventually. Like I play enough that it, eventually I'll hit it unless they just keep raising it slowly a uh, little by little, in which case I'm like, dog, come on, man, stop doing that to me. But also don't forget if you're playing JP to go get your uh, bonus items right on top of your monthly stuff. You've got extra tickets. You've got extra EXP cards, all that good stuff. But yeah. This is definitely like a nice little campaign that they've gone ahead and thrown in here. I mean, if you completely whiffed your summons uh, for Kukul Khan, like you can now have like 60 Saint Quartz in addition to the um, summons you were already doing. Maybe that'll get you into the uh, the pity system. You know, maybe that'll be able to get you to, uh, you know, your max summons if you summon that hard. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Can't believe I just blundered that at the very end. But let me know what you think. Um, Again, I think this is like one of the better download campaigns we've seen in quite a while, if not like being one of the best. But yeah, I'd uh, love to hear you guys' thoughts. And if anybody does have, by the way, they do have like that data, like if they have like the raw, like a spreadsheet or something of being like here's all the saint courts that lasangle has given us since they've taken over and here's how much like dw has given us i would like to see that because i want to know if it's just me that feels like they've been giving us more saint courts or if they actually have been giving us more saint courts it'd be really funny if they've been giving us like half as much or something it'd honestly be really funny but yeah with all that being said i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here you guys have yourselves a nice day peace late guys